Affinity Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 5 Using Effects on Texts and Shapes Number 1. Recap on the Artist Text Tool Number 2. Recap on how to do a path for doodly Number 3. Adding effects to texts and shapes Number 4. Adjusting the settings of the effects And Number 5. Gradient Overlay and Colour Adjustments Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and Administrator of Doodly and Tony PNGs. Uh, welcome to the beginners tutorials of Affinity Designer Lesson 5. And I'm just going to start off with a new document on Affinity Designer A4 and Landscape. Right, and we're going to return to the artistic text tool in a moment. But first of all, I want to get the pen tool and click on the smart mode and just click a few places to get a nice shape on it like that then we get to the artistic text tool now and put some artistic text on by remembering that T sign there and then click on it and we can change the size of the font to about 48 right I've done that you can move it around with this green arrow there up to that red arrow before it goes on the other side if you recall what I'm going to do is going to put something in now um, let's, let's think about what we're going to put on um, hold on I just something's come up now sorry about that um, let's get some work done. That's gone a bit too far. Let's just uh, pull that back slightly. No, it ain't going to do it. Get some work done. Let's just tick off the today then. Let's just tick off today. Let's, do, let's get some work done. Okay. Uh, I could have put it down a different, to a different size font, but I do it like that. That's fine. Right. Now that's the shape it's going to be. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re-select it and copy it first. Now and then paste that and then I want to draw that down there and I'm going to reselect the top one if I can I mean not that right and now I'm going to change the stroke of that one so that that one will be the uh, path for using on uh, doodly if you need to use it for doodly and I'm going to change the brush width which was on the properties right so let's do that again change the width of the stroke up here to one and then I went to properties here you see where my cursor is there and then I go to the brush width which is at the top change that to 9.9 .9 in a minute okay there you go and then just close that and that should be okay for doing the the path for doing it on a doodly we can put that on top of it like that now we can change the colour of that um, let's do green shall we hit a green right now what I'm going to show you is something to do with um, I'm going to put a shape on first and put that in green as well now what I want to do is I want to show you the effects which are next to the layers on the right hand side here effects right because you've got lots of different choices of what you can do with them right so we're going to go to layers first make sure I pick the right one of the oops I uh, forgot, forgot to do something there let's just delete that first click on there right now which one have I got I've got the right one make sure you've got the one that's at the front right and I'm going to change the effect to that with the Gaussian blur first show you what happens with that as you can see it's um, making it all fuzzy 
a green one um, and then we pull it down so you can see right it'll make it all blurry you see it's gone all blurry but obviously because you've got the one behind it as well it will go all black because that being there right that's what happens with the Gaussian blur on the text right now if we go on to the shape and I'll show you on the shape right so it blurs it out from the middle I think the main area is the middle and it blurs from the middle out I believe right okay and so with the letters it would do from the middle of them as well and then you've got a preserve alpha button there so you can, if you want to click on it if you want to keep the alpha for doing alpha button things on uh, animation maybe you you might need it for that so you might need to click it that on if you need to do it but if you do that you can't tell what's happening with the things because it doesn't show it that way and the same with the um, that one if you want to show you where it and you can't see well you can see what's happening there with it being on but when, it, when you click that one watch you can't see any difference can you right so you know without dealing with what you're going to deal with to do with the, the alpha you don't know what's happening on it really uh, right next one is the outer shadow shall we do that one next yeah right so outside outer shadow on thing here let's take the Gaussian blur off first outer shadow for that you need to do the offset first as you can see it's moving the shadow down if it's at an angle of 315 degrees so if I take it to 270 it goes straight down then uh -huh, right as you can see right that's the offset the radius I'll show you that we by using the offset tool if you see the offset tool here there's a button there for offset tool you can pull it further down then right now I put the opacity to 100% so it's completely solid the shadow now I'm going to show you what the radius does on the shadow right can you see what's going on with the radius it's making it like a, a blur from and then it goes sharp and then it goes, a, it goes to a blur again if you take it up to 100% radius if you take it back down to 0% radius it's completely um, sharp right that's what the radius is, does right the off the offset tool is pretty good for getting it in any position you want it really so you now you can use that for you now for a diff quite a distance from the actual main words but the the slider here is good for close work yeah, like that, right and you can use the angle to change the angle like that so and you can change the colour by clicking on the colour palette here and then change it to whatever you want like, you could have a dark blue that'd be interesting wouldn't it let's do that then let's just check that as you can see now we change the opacity and there you go it looks more like a shadow than before right so that's what the outer shadow does right now if we have a look at that on the circle and see how it see see what difference it makes to that really let's get the offset first you can see there if I put the opacity up to 100% you can see it's quite is it now use the offset tool like that you can pull it away and you can do the radius as you want the same but obviously it's just the outer parts that they come almost invisible right and you can just take it back like that and you can use this offset slider and you can ch change the angle at which it's coming from the same as the other right I funny they've got the zero angles at the right hand side for some reason I don't know why they've done that it don't make any sense of should have took the Gaussian blur off but there you go and obviously the radius is the blur on the shadow so you can make it blurry behind like that so looks pretty cool like that it looks more reasonable like a, 
proper shadow there, like that. A bit like a sphere circle. Right. Okay, so that's the outer glow, uh, outer shadow. Now you've got the inner shadow. Right, and what we're going to do is do the, do the green um, lettering first, the text. And do that with the inner shadow first. Let's... Um, Let's bring it down. I think we'd better bring it down again, haven't we? Bring it down there, right? And try, try that with the offset first. You see, it's on the inside of the actual thing. And then, if you do the radius, it'll blur it. It's getting more blurry. But as you can see, it's inside the actual um, work, text itself, right? It's going across from inside, from the left to the right at the moment because of the angles at 315, which is from the left top corner to the right bottom corner. Let's go in that what, that direction, right? Yeah, can you see that? Right, an offset till works the same. This is with the outer shadow only. Obviously, it will only work inside where the wording is where the text is right so that's, you got to remember that okay so that's what that does with that now if you do it with the circle I'll show you how it does with the circle so you might be able to get it better with that how that works right and so now we do the offset on there as you can see there's the offset so it's going towards the bottom right corner and then your radius to make it blurry whatever you need to be you can also change the colour on it obviously you could have the colour blue like we had it before on the other thing but you, obviously it's going to have a another what's it on it it's going to have the green on it which will affect it anyway you ain't going to see the blue so much as you tighten it up with a opacity so that's made it go black and if we change the colour to a different colour let's see what happens there do you see any difference see different colours like that that's what happens so you, the colour wouldn't be very useful to you changing the colours you might get a little tinge you can change it to different colours there like that like that right but uh, because it's on the green it would uh, be filtered out by the green you say that's why you don't get many colours right you just get the light green and dark, dark green to black that's all you'll get because obviously the green's filtering out the other colour okay right but if you want to just leave it black then don't you really leave it black like that and then you can change the opacity so it will go lighter or darker according to what you want and you've got the radius as well so you can make it blurred or not blurred on the edges right so and you can change which angle it goes, goes into you know and that and simple as that right so that's how that one works the both of them now we go to the outer glow let's have a look at that we'll have a look at that on the circle first right so it's already white and then we do oh hang on a minute let's just uh, get a, a, a rectangle put it over everything like that and change that to a dark blue like that's all something like that right and put that at the back so you can see what's going on because you need dark colours to see the light coming through and as you can do, I'll do this now on, wait a minute, click, select that first and then do it you can see the glow on the white the white glow around it that's the radius radiating the outer glow yeah without that blue you wouldn't be able to see because we're doing white background anyway that's why I put the blue rectangle on 
Now we do the same with the the green lettering, and as you can see, it just makes it go all bright round the outside of the words. Right, and you can change the opacity so it doesn't look very too much. Just gives it a little bit of a glow. Like that. Right. So it doesn't have a power it I suppose in a way. Or you can leave it hundred percent which you know gives it the full effect of me, yeah. And supposedly can change the colour of that to a different colour. So let's try red with that. See how that goes. There you go, a little bit of red coming round, yeah. I'm going to look at really pink because I've got the blue on as well, so it affects it a bit really. Okay, so that's what you get with the outer glow, right? On both of them. Let's take that off and take it off that one as well, right? Now the inner glow is going to be on the inside of them. So should we do it on the? We'll do it on the thingy. Inner glow. Um, I don't mean the thingy. Let's take that off. The inner glow. It's going to be on the inside of the word, as you can see there. It's going in inside, right? And you got your opacity as well. So you try it on the um, circle. I right, ain't. I'm going to tick the circle. Then there we go. As you can see, it's coming, but it's only a little bit. It ain't coming very much, is it? On that. Yeah, it's only very, very slightly. Let's try. Mm. Um, you got these other things as well. You can mess about with when, in the future, I might go on to that later. But at the moment we're just doing this in a minute. So that does the inside of the circumference of the circle or the inside of this the letter right so that's what the inner, inner glow does the outline is the outline of whatever it is like the circumference itself so you can do it that way as you can see the, the black lines coming on there and it'll be the same with that now with this that wouldn't make any difference to the um, the stroke it wouldn't make a difference to the stroke. So I've tried it. You can't you can't do the stroke by this. It wouldn't make any difference to that. So you do just have to uh, do the stroke the way I showed you before. Right now, 3D is a good one. So we'll do that next, which is I'm going to do it on the words first. Now. Uh, if you do this one this is pretty good you can see I don't know really you can see that let's take it off uh, let's get rid of that first right let's do it like that and try that I don't know really you can see it yeah that's just making it look like it's three dimensional slightly I'll show you on the circle now you'll see it's the same that one it seems to be more rounded on the edges right and you've got an opacity there which takes it back right so if you leave it fully like that, that's the best one to do the more like a 3d image than a, anything else that one right that's what that one does right let's take all them off sorry right Next one you got the bevel and emboss, right? So we'll just uh, do it on the circle first, and you got right. It's just radius. You just use the radius. It gives you a shadow at the back and a bit of a bump at this end, like that. And it's pretty good, and it goes flat to that, right? Just like that. And the same with this one. Let's just take off the 3D image first and to click on that and then as you can see it gives it some distance from the the paper that looks pretty good that doesn't it you could just use that one 
uh, making it look three dimensional anyway in a way isn't it? Right, so, like that. that's pretty cool isn't it makes it look like it's coming off the paper and you could do that as a um, image thing right for a video you could do, you could possibly do something like that then you've got a colour overlay which you can put a colour overlay on of any kind of colour you want maybe and then you do your normal colour which is what colour was it it was green already wasn't it now if you take the opacity of it it should show the green through that so there you go, you got your overlay and you got your green so if you wanted to slowly drag it back to the green you could do that right by changing the opacity on the colour overlay so you can change it to whichever colour you want you can change the colour to any blue if you wanted to try that one and then see watch it as it goes down to green you know we can't down green enough yet it's going towards it but it's not 100% now let's put it back to the green now let's take that off it was on green wasn't it oh on green now oh, I must have clicked it that other colour. Let's put it on green and then try colour overlay as blue, right? Right, so we'll do that. There we go. The colour's blue but the overlay is green so hundred percent you got the overlay on it. That's green. It goes back to blue when it's no opacity at all. Okay right then you've got the gradient overlay which gives you a gradient onto the colour that you want right now with this one you can if you click on that on the thing is right if you go over here to this you can click on it change the colours whatever colour you want the gradient to be now you click on the colour there the red then you can add another circle change that to yellow maybe then add another circle change that to green add one more circle change that to pink yeah could do that so then you've got a uh, a gradient of uh, multicolored gradient and then close that and you go like that so that's pretty pretty cool isn't it and you get that overlay of a gradient there going to the blue right I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial Um I'm just going to show you what it'd be with this on the gradient on this one so you'd get it on the words as well but it wouldn't be all of the words some of the words would be having the gradient like that so you can do the same with this by changing the colors again a red blue Yellow. Purple. There you go, like that. You could do that. And that would be on your words. So you could have you could have it changing by changing the opacity as you go along to green and then take it back if you wanted to change the colours like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? 
So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it useful. Um, if you've got any questions for me, um, I will certainly try and answer your questions. Just uh, leave me a message in Doodly and Tunley PNGs on Facebook or you can contact me on my YouTube channel, Tony's Music. Um, I would really like to hear from you and I hope I've helped you with this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you. Bye bye.